Deputy Chair, my honorable colleagues here present, our invited guests, especially the Honorable Minister. Uh, my name is Abdul Ghani Johnson. I represent the good people of uh, Osho Di Solo, Federal Constituency 2. I'm from Lagos. Um, my first question is on, if you look at your omnibus report, that's page 7, item 4. Um, we have reclamation of abandoned mine site. I want to know, I want the Honorable Minister to clarify because the last time uh, a similar thing was presented, <coughs> and now we are seeing the progress is at uh, one point, uh, roughly 1.5. So I want you to clarify for us what you mean by reclamation. Is this some feeling of the dump site or what? Because a similar thing was uh, carried out last year. Whether it's a continuation of that. If it's not, if it's not, we need some clarification, sir. Then um, page eight, item. Eight. Now, the International and Regional Mining Investment Promotion and Trade, is it done by, uh, is it done in-house or you are commissioning a consultant to do that? Ditto for item 13 at page 9. Ditto for item 17 at page 10, then um, at sorry, sir. item so I, I, Sorry, sir. Yes. Maybe it's just so, that, so I can write it down. Sorry. No, it's item it, 13, I've written capital. Yes, no. item 13 and 17. OK, 17. Then item 19, we need, you said revalidation of abandoned mine site. We want. Uh, we want an explanation. What exactly are we revalidating? Is it to front load it for reclamation or what? So we want clarification on that. Although there is a progress on it at 4.5, so is it done in house or you are consulting? I mean, you are giving, out, giving it out. To a contractor. Yes. Okay. I, I, I still have the floor. The, the item 24 of page 11. Is it uh, for, of page 11? Yeah, item 24. Yes, it said consultancy services. Uh, have, you recorded some progress here. But there is no cons there is no consultant attached to it. Whether it's in-house activity, we want we want some explanation. Uh, I think that is all for now. Thank you, uh, Johnson. I, 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 I know you. Ministry of Work, Lagos State. <laughs> Thank you. I was just posting, Ghani Johnson. I know that's your name, sir. Honorable Ghani Johnson. And you asked about reclamation. Uh, reclamation is something that is done uh, by contraction. And it's an ongoing thing. It's not, it's a contract, one contract ends. Uh, why it's an ongoing thing is uh, there were a lot of abandoned mining sites, you know, historical mining sites all over the country. And that is why you will see further down, there's something called revalidation of abandoned mining sites. We keep adding to it. Uh, Nigeria is a vast country. So we give out that as a consulting work for people to go. And these are the people who, provi who provide. I think the member that asked that question has left. The details about these mining sites. We have a department that takes care of that. 
uh, mines environmental compliance. They are in charge of all of these jobs. Uh, the budget we get for reclamation in a year is so small. Oftentimes, we can't do more than four or five. Even the ones that are ready, that we have records of them, they are in hundreds. And we keep adding regularly. That is why those that are mining currently in Nigeria, uh, there's a scheme in place to make sure that mine sites are not abandoned as they were done in the hold. Uh, uh, you must put back uh, after your mining, it may take 25, 40 years, uh, but that's the new from the uh, mining regulations and the uh, mining act of 2007 and 2011 respectively. You must put back to good use when you finish mining. Uh, that's 25, 40 years when you finish your mining. But those that have been done in those days, especially from time of the colonial times, we have a lot of abandoned mine sites. I get letters regularly, uh, abandoned quarry and all that. And when, when it rains, these uh, abandoned places they fill up. They become uh, dangerous. And they endanger the life of the uh, people in that community. People might be walking in the bush and just dumping. It might be 200 feet deep. Inside some, some quarries are that deep. And it's filled with water because it now has an artificial lake. Because nobody's taking care of it, you have vegetation growing over it. So if you are not aware, you can walk into it and then, of course, people end up dying. What government is doing is trying to ameliorate this uh, situation, which has happened over the years. This is what has been happening. People will mine and abandon. They will do quarry. They will abandon. Uh, anybody that's familiar with Abekota will know there's an area called uh, Quarry Road on that road. That, in fact, to reclaim that place will probably cost billions. That's the name we attached it because it's so vast. That will cost billions. So basically, this is what we do. We pick about three, four, five projects. Depends on what is released to us in terms of budgetary provision. But what we have already is in hundreds. So that's why every year you see reclamation projects. Uh, but it's one project, uh, uh, one contract is one project. Uh, so that's it. And then the details, of course, that's why we have uh, the consulting one, I said, what's your revalidation? Before the job is given down, before we know what amount it will cost, uh, of course, it has, it's measured. Some is not just sand. Some you have to put uh, rocks as well to stabilize. Uh, broken stones, especially when you get into the top, because sand will just keep collapsing. So they, 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 they put uh, stones of different sizes. Depends on what it takes. But sincerely, we invite you, uh, as part of oversight, to visit some of these places. Uh, the uh, Mines Environmental Compliance Department is in charge. And anyone that you pick that's already in the, uh, in the bill or maybe has been done, members can visit such sites just to ascertain for themselves. Because this question has come up before. But it's something that, that is going to be happening on a regular basis. We may do three, four, or five projects. Depends on what is released and the, uh, the ones that we have to do. I hope I've been able to answer that question. And the question of that honorable gentleman who left. IPMT, this is, uh, is a promotion department in the, uh, in the ministry. It's not a contracting. IPMT is responsible for our promotion and mineral trade. That's what it's called, general promotion and mineral trade. That's what IPMT stands for. It's the department in the ministry. What, uh, what they do, essentially, is to promote mining in Nigeria. Uh, we go to different mining jurisdictions. Uh, all over the world. Unfortunately, uh, we've not been able to travel uh, uh, since last year so much because of COVID. This year, we've done some. Uh, we'll be going to mines and money in London uh, this year uh, as one of the things. We've missed, normally on the calendar, the major ones are what we call PDAC. It's in Canada. Uh, that's in March every year. There's in Daba in South Africa. That is uh, in February every year. And then, of course, they, they have the Chinese, you have the one in Dubai. Essentially, is to pro propagate the gospel of mining in Nigeria.